was once a nightclub just got quite the reno. The space formerly known as District 1960 is now District Market Green Grocer. Robert Thomas owns the market in Houston, Texas, which once hosted the likes of Megan Thee Stallion and Moneybag Yo. Now you'll find frozen goods, fruits and veggies, and a very busy juice bar. Last call for the club came during the pandemic shutdown when officials told him his business was non-essential. For Thomas, that meant no more customers, no more income. He told CBS News. It made me rethink who I am, what my purpose is. So a new idea sprang up for Robert to unite people, no matter that he does not have a background in being a grocer. I'm learning as I go. While creating a platform for black vendors. Right now, everything in here comes from a black vendor. 40 of them selling things like meat, produce and spices. Emory Davis owns My Mark 61 Cattle Company selling grass-fed meat. Davis says his small business can't handle the volume required for bigger grocery stores, so before he makes it big, he's starting small. This is a good outlet because you're able to grow with him. He's starting and then once he gets another location, you know, hopefully you can grow with that and then you'll be able to supply that next location. Rob and Jessica Tannen own Signature Suds and started making their own soaps and solvents for their laundry business after supplies dried out earlier on in the pandemic. To be able to start at these markets and build the customer base, build the product recognition, that's super important. And to do it with a community like what Robert is building is just super, I mean, it's just a win-win. Especially since the pandemic has had a staggering impact on Black-owned businesses. Black business ownership dropped 41% since COVID-19's arrival, the highest of any racial group. With business owners like Robert hoping stores like his and opportunities like these help close that gap. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.